Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic, and today we're gonna be replicating something that I saw on the internet. So I came across this on Twitter, which shows some type of mechanical tri-basketball hoop that rotates around in a circle, and uh, this guy is just a master at accuracy with his shots here. Or at least they cut to all the successes, so that's something good. <laughs> So I thought it'd be fun to actually try to build this in Scrap Mechanic because it'd be a two-part build because I have to build the hoop itself and then I have to build something that can throw a ball into the hoop as well. So this is going to be our basketball. It's a little bit different than a normal basketball. It's not very bouncy in comparison to our normal basketball, as you can clearly see here. I mean, I guess it's a... No, okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you get one bounce. You get one bounce and that's it. So obviously I need to make a hoop that's going to allow me to uh, throw this thing in there. And I really don't want this to be almost impossible. So I'm gonna give this like two blocks, two blocks of room on either side of the ball. So these are gonna be some massive hoops. All right, there we go. I got a basic hoop shape. I think this is gonna give me enough room to actually make it. I'm wondering if there's any way I can create some type of like net like material underneath. I don't really see that happening very nicely. All right, I'll be the first to admit that this isn't the most realistic or aesthetic looking net, but um, I don't know. I feel like it's better than nothing, maybe. I Maybe it's better than nothing. I actually don't know the answer to that either. Maybe if I paint it white, it'll, it'll pass. And of course the bearings won't let me paint them, even though they're plainly visible right here in front of my eyes. Oh, I could paint these ones, but I can't paint any other ones. Huh. Let me do an experiment here. If I rotate this on the lift, now can I paint these ones? No. All right, I don't know how bearing painting works. Sometimes you can paint bearings, sometimes you can't. All right, now I got three hoops, so now I need to put this thing on a big rotating wheel. All right, I found this on my lift. I think this is from when I built my bot hamster wheel, and I think this is actually a good size considering the size of these hoops. So now uh, with the three hoops, they're kind of in like a triangle shape. So if I have one at the top like that, then uh, I guess I need like here and here. Does that, you know what? There's an easier way to solve this. 360 divided by three is 120. So we got one at zero. We got one at 120, which is like, I guess right there. And then one at 240 which would be like right there. Let's get these hoops welded and then we gotta make it rotate. Oh boy. So I think I've, uh, I think I've decided that the hoops, <laughs> they, the, the nets are not a good idea. They just don't, they just don't do well as nets. They just kind of wrap around the rim because they're not attached at the middle at all. Is there a way? I don't know if there's a way I can make these nets more realistic though. I would need to have all the individual ends attached in the middle somehow. All right, I got a second version of the net here so it's actually connected in a circle and I'm hoping that this will keep the net more, less unruly or more ruly, I guess. All right, there we go. Let's hope these aren't too laggy. Well, it seems to definitely be preventing the nets from getting tangled up. The question is, are the nets sufficient? They might actually catch the ball, which I think could be kind of good because it'll let you know that the ball's in there and then the ball should fall out when it comes back around. I might, I might actually like that better. All right, this is, I feel like this is gonna be really, really hard. As I'm looking at that, should I give this thing a backboard? I feel like I should give it a backboard. This thing should probably have a back. I'm going to give it a backboard. In the video, the telephone pole is a backboard, but he's just getting uh, nothing but net the whole time. So show off. All right, I think this is looking good. I'm liking this. All right, now all we got to do is make a super easy and accurate to use ball throwing machine. So I'm going to focus much more on functionality than aesthetics on this one. We're just going to build the bare minimum that we need. It's definitely going to be four wheel steering so we can uh, we can adjust our aim pretty easy. Tank steering would be ideal, but I just don't feel like setting up tank steering right now, to be honest. So we're going to go with good old four wheel steering. No suspension even. We don't need suspension for this. The suspension is just going to mess up the throwing anyway. It'll it'll absorb some of the uh, some of the power in the throw. All right, we got our vehicle base. Everything works fine. Now it's time to add the tossing mechanism. So with this, I'm going to use the uh, challenge mode parts to have a ball spawner on there. That way 
I can just spawn a ball into the tosser whenever I want to toss a ball. That's about as easy as you can make it when it comes to loading. And I'm also going to make this turret style, so I will have full control over like turning it left and right and up and down. All right, so I have all the controls of the throwing arm down, so I can rotate it left and right, I can move it up and down, and I can activate the pistons. So now I gotta make the actual hand that holds the ball. And I'm just remembering the inconvenient thing about this is the ball spawner is odd width. So here's the ball spawner, so it is not gonna spawn centered into the hand, which is very frustrating. But don't worry, I'll add some wedges to this thing so that it's gonna be super cool either way. All right, I got the ball spawner in there now. It's not centered, but I'm hoping that when I press the button, it centers the ball. There we go. That actually worked really, really nice. So then I could just aim the ball, press the button. Oh, that actually, this is working real nice. Is that high enough though? Am I going to be able to do this? I think we're ready for a test shot. Of course, I put it in front of all the bushes, so I got to be in the bushes now. All right, how cool would it be if my very, very first shot actually scores? All right, here we go. There we go, first test. Got a nice aim there, got to time it right, and go! Oh my goodness, I almost did it on the first try. I think this is, I think this is good to go though. All right, and go! It's all about the timing. Oh, <gasps> look at that! Oh my, and it went through the net. It actually went through the net. This is kind of amazing. This is actually really amazing. Oh man, all right, I gotta, I gotta go up a little bit. Whoops, my angle is too direct. I need more of an arch so we can get that nothing but net. Oh, that it goes up in the air longer. That would have been good though. The distance was good on that one. All right, I got the next one here. I got the next one. There we go. Oh, still not enough. This one looks like it's harder than the one in the video. <laughs> or maybe I'm just, I'm probably just worse. That's, that's, the, that's the more reasonable explanation. Yeah, the timing is the tough thing. You really gotta shoot early. All right, let me back up a little bit. Right in the bush. All right, I got it this time. I got it this time. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the... Uh, I mean, it went in. It went in. It's stuck in the net. Wait, what's going to happen now? I don't actually know what... All right, good. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. It just drops it off down below. That's fine. All right, come on. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. There it is. Nothing but net. All right, I feel good about that. Okay, so let's paint this thing up. Let's put it in a better position. And I want to see if I, I need to get a certain amount in a row. We're going to go for like, let's go for five in a row. That's going to be my goal. And then I feel like I've done really, really well with this entire concept. And also, of course, got to add more wedges to this thing because it doesn't look nearly as cool as it could look. Look how much cooler this is looking. See, this is how you get into the NBA. This is how you become pro. Just got to add some wedges. Look at that. That is an NBA ball tossing machine there. All right, I got everything set up. I've even upgraded this, so check it out. I don't have to manually spawn in the ball anymore. I've set it up so that when the cup is empty, it automatically refills it. So if I shoot, you can see it refills it automatically. No problem. Which, yeah, it seems to be no problem. No problem. You know, to make it less of a problem, I'm actually gonna add a two second buffer between the respawn. So now if I toss it, one, two, there we go. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's an issue. That's a doubt. That doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. All right, now we're ready. We're finally ready to do the free throw competition. The mechanical rotating tri hoop free throw competition. The goal is to get five in a row. This thing should be relatively consistent. So once I zero in, I should be able to keep it going. All right, uh, go. All right, we're clearly just not close enough hold on all right i think i'm zeroed in now it's just a matter of timing oh there we go oh what happened there some of the balls came out all right so that's one. Oh, i did way too early oh no i am there they're, what is going on here oh every single time i do it it actually changes the angle it doesn't hold the angle strong enough <gasps> this is gonna be harder than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, no. All right. I turned off the auto spawn It was hurting me more than it was helping me. All right, here we go. This is it. This is it. We're gonna do it now We're gonna do it now. We're gonna we just that was a practice. That was a practice. Now. We're gonna do it Here we go. There's one. There's one. We're sinking it. We're sinking it. Look at that Excellent. All right. I'm gonna wait for the next one All right, and oh did I go too late? Did I go too late? Oh, that was nothing but net. There's two. That's two in a row. 
I'm feeling good. I am feeling good. Oh, there's three. Nothing but net on that one. Oh, I'm going like every other hoop right now. All right, there's three. Oh, I did too early. I did too early. No, 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 we're fine. There's four. Am I going to do this? Am I going to do this right now? That was four. Please, please, please. Don't mess up now. Don't mess up now. <gasps> there it is. Five in a row, just like that. Let's keep going until I mess up. That's five. Come on. Oh, real. Okay. Wow. I thought I was actually going to. I thought I was in a groove there. But hey, at least I gave myself the five as the uh, as the goal. Goal accomplished. You know what I haven't done? I haven't actually used the backboard. Let's actually use the backboard. I put it there. Haven't used it yet. Let's see if I can get this thing to serve a function. All right. There we go. Off the backboard. Okay. That actually. That was interesting how that worked. Off the backboard. It, okay, that worked exactly the same. It doesn't bounce. These balls don't bounce enough. <laughs> the exact same thing keeps happening. Oh, that bounced. Okay, I just I guess I'm not timing it right. Oh, man, the balls are laggy. Using the backboard is turning out to be harder than I expect. Oh, there we go. That was perfect. That was amazing. It was like off the backboard, then nothing but net. I know that's not how that works at all, but <laughs> that's how it felt, okay? All right, that's it right there. Off the backboard, into the hoop. There we go. Look at that. I'm so proud of those nets. I did not expect the nets to feel anything like a net should feel. And they they really don't, but it could have been much worse. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A mechanical rotating tri-hoop thing with some messed up paint on the side over here that I'm fixing right now, so don't worry about it. We got our ball tossing vehicle right here, and I feel like this is an amazing training regimen to uh, get ourselves to the vehicular NBA. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely check out some more on the channel. You can see something on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.